moving this direction forward would bring us here to the end of the world, right here. This would be the end of the solar system, end of the galaxy, or end of the universe. I'm not too sure which one. And the end, of course, would have an infinite moment. So when these lines here would, would uh, hit each other, that would be the end. And this could be the theory of how we would have a brand new solar system of some sort. We would move right back and do this all over again. Of course, my theory is, is that they're not even. Something like this, where each triangle gets a little bit bigger in size. So this would be, say this is December 21st, 2012, right here at this line here. That means this would be the end of the time. This would be the next section of wherever we move forward. We have another infinite moment right here. Then this gets larger with an infinite moment right here. And we move forward. If you understand what I am saying, amazing. If not, I'll try to explain it better as I move forward with extra videos. So now I want to show you something interesting from a web page that I've seen. The distance between galaxies, if you look at this chart, this here is time moving forward, and this is distance between galaxies. So, it's really interesting because this is the exact same looking chart that I was able to get when I did my research on the Mayan calendar and how our time is in the universe and I'll show you that now this here is the chart that I just did on my spreadsheet which is from December the 23rd 1999 to December the 21st 2012 and the end point is 1.59 hours before the end of the cycle so this mark here on the first one is October the 20th, 2004. So this section here, from the start to this point there, is about close to five years. And yet the whole thing is a lot less. So this is just showing you time is accelerating. And this point here is December the 13th, 2012. So this means that things are going to be moving a lot quicker. Now, this chart is not to be intimidated by because if we take a look at the difference of the chart from here to here, we would get this. So we have a very similar chart. The first section, of course, is October the 20th, 2004. And the very end is December the 13th, 2012. And where that arrow is, is August the 6th, 2012. So the, if you look at two cycles on the Mayan calendars, two cycles from one to the other, this is what exactly the cycle would be look like. And where the arrow would be, would be the end of the first cycle, if not the start of the second. So that is how the movement of everything works out based on the formula that I have explained earlier. So this means that things are going to be moving really fast but once again do not be worried about this because we move from moment to moment at the exact same rate of speed as we did the last moment and it's been this way since the start of time and this is the way it is during the entire universe because the galaxies are the same distance away as our dates work, so the graphs are working together. This means, I'll give you the percentages of change or movement this calendar has from the turn of the century. The year 2000, it moved 8.34% of an increase. 2003, it was a little over 11%. 
2006 it was 16.7%. 2007 it was a 20% increase from the first day to the last day. 2008 it was a 25% increase from the first day to the last day. Next year, 2009, it is going to be over a one-third percent of an increase, a 33% increase. 2010 is a 50% increase from the first to the last year. And 2011 is a 100% increase from the first day to the last. December the 21st, 2012, the first second to the last second of that day is a 100% increase. So the amount of change that's going to happen in the year 2011 should happen on December the 21st, 2012. So that shows you the speed in which this thing accelerates. And as far as December the 21st, 2012, that is an infinite percent because that's an infinite date, as in I explained earlier with this. So uh, that's what I have been doing. I've been doing a lot of research as far as how these this time moves. But whether the date is, in fact, 256 divided by 13, which is 19.69, whether it's 20, whether it's 20.3, it really doesn't matter too much, as, other than the fact that one's going to be quicker than the other. If the number 20 is correct, that means things will be just a little bit quicker than what I've been explaining, which is 19.69. I don't know which date is right. I wish I could find out, but I don't know. Once again, I did these numbers based on the fact that December the 21st is the last day of the cycle. And if that's the case, that's how I've been doing the calculations. Once again, I have no idea what the last day is. There's just a lot of word on the internet that that is the final date of the Mayan calendar. Once again, I do not know what that date is. So when this date actually ends on December the 21st, 2012, or whatever that date happens to be, it's going to be something that is going to be hard to explain. Every day that I move towards that date, I'm going to know more about that date. And I know very, very little about it now, but because creation is speeding up, I'm going to speed up my creation as I move forward as I am a creator myself. So whatever happens on that date, just let it happen because if this means that we move to an age of love, which is what I think it does, we will adjust to it. We'll go through an infinite time and whether we'll be conscious during the end of this time, I don't know. If I were to guess, I would say no, because this is a major infinite point. So I don't think that we will be conscious. I think that everything that happens the days and weeks prior and following this 2012 date will be information that is so powerful. And by the time the middle of 2013 comes into play, we'll forget everything that we have. So whatever you can write down, put on video, at this time is probably going to be very important, at least I think. Uh, but that's, uh, we'll, we'll have lots of time but as we get to that point as far as what we will be doing and decision making upon that time. If you understand what I'm talking about, especially if you're into mathematics, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you know of any exact numbers. My, my 256 divided by 13 number is accurate. Uh, the number 13, I want to do a lot of research on how powerful that number is on the universe. It is the sixth prime number. So right off the bat, it is an important number there. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Peace, love, and light, and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.